that again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. All right, so the Bible says this shall come to pass, all right? So is that telling you something that's happening right now or something that shall happen in the future? Which one is it? Read it again so she, so she can hear it. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. It says it shall come to pass. What's that mean? Is it gonna happen right now or it's gonna happen sometime in the future? I guess sometime in the future. Sometime in the future, right? Now this was written thousands of years ago during the time of Moses, all right? Thousands of years ago during the time of Moses. What did Moses say to the children of Israel? That's who he's talking about. That's who he's talking to. Did you know that? Oh, in this scripture? Oh. In that scripture, he's talking to the children of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is what we call them today. That's what we call them. That's what we call the children of Israel today. We don't call them Israelites. We don't call them Judites or Ephraimites, right? Those names are foreign to you. It's a car. You ever heard of that before? It's a car. Yeah. It's a car, right? Yeah. You ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about uh, um, Levites? You heard of Levites before? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Levites today are your so-called Haitian, Haitians. That's who the Levites are today. Your 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 Ephraimites today are your so-called Puerto Ricans. Yeah, your, your Jamaicans today, you know what God calls the Jamaicans? He calls them Benjamites. You ever heard of that before? Benjamites. Benjamites. They, that means they come from the tribe of Benjamin. Because Jacob had 12 sons. That's what you see on this sign right here. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm noticing that. You're noticing that right there? Yeah. But guess what? These all make up one nation. So all, tw all 12 of these sons all make up, they have one father. And that father is the nation that God chose to be above all nations upon the earth. That's right. All nations upon the earth. This nation right here, all right, the Israelites, the nation of Israel, God chose to be above all nations that are upon the earth. All the nations we know of today, God chose the Israelites to be above them. All right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Now, this is what God said to the so-called Negro thousands of years ago. This is what God said to your Puerto Ricans thousands of years ago. This is what God said to your Hispanics, your Latinos, your Indians a thousand years, thousands of years ago. All right? This is what he said. Listen good. Come on. But it shall come to pass. So in the future, this is what's going to happen. Come on. If thou would not. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to me, because I'm your father, and I only chose you, all right, and you're my children, all right, God said that Israel is his only son, all right, and not just his only son, but his firstborn son, all right, that's what God said. And God said if his firstborn son, if his only son does not listen to him, then all these curses, all right, shall follow him in the days to come. Come on. To observe, to do. To do what? To observe, to do. No, to know. To do. So it's not enough for us just to know God's commandments, right? Because you can know that you need to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right. But if you know it and that's not how you're living your life, all right, you're not making decisions based on that understanding that you have, right? Is that going to be beneficial for you? No. It's actually going to stand against you in the day of judgment. Because you know things, but you're not applying them. You know better, but you're not doing better. Right. You understand? There's judgments for that. Come on. To observe. To do. To do what? To observe. To do. Come on. All his commandments and his statutes. What's I command thee this day? You know God has commandments, and he has more than 10 of them. God has more than 10 commandments. Did you know that? I'm going to tell you a commandment. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. All right. How old are you, sis? 33. You're 33. All right. We're going to bring something out for you. You've been on this earth just as long as me. All right? But you haven't been taught the truth according to the Bible. And the truth is what shall set you free. That's what the scriptures say. That's right. All right, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 4. The woman shall not wear that 
Which part Tatum on to a man? You ever heard that before? What's your name, brother? Bruce. Bruce, what's your name, sis? Vina. Bruce and Vina. Vina. Have you ever Vina. have you ever Vina? I'm sorry. Bruce and Vina. Alright? Have you ever heard that scripture before right there? Vina? We're gonna read it again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not with that which partain of or to a man. You ever heard that scripture before? You have? I bet you ain't hear it in church. No, nah, you ain't here in church. <laughs> you know why? Because they don't read that in church. That's not it. They don't read that scripture in church. The only way you go, the only way you gonna hear about this scripture right here, Vina, Vina, right? Vina and Bruce. The only way you gonna hear about this scripture right here is if you open up the Bible and read it yourself. Right. You understand? Right. Hold that. Get Revelation chapter one. Yeah. All right, Revelation chapter one, and I want, I think I want verse two. Read verse 2 for me, please. Yes, sir. All right. Bruce and Vina, I want y'all to listen good to this. Come on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God? Verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. What does the Bible say? Blessed is he that readeth. What are you going to hear that a woman should not wear pants? Only way you're going to hear that is if you open the Bible and read it. That's the only way you go here. Right. You got all these churches on the corner right. and they are not teaching you that a woman shall not wear that which pertains to men. Right. They're not teaching that in church. You know why? Because usually there's someone in the church with what on? With pants on. You already know. It's usually somebody. In it. So how they gonna, how they gonna read the scripture in the Bible right. when somebody right there sitting on the pew or probably in the pool pit with pants on? How they gonna read the scripture? They ain't gonna be able to read that. That's, that you gotta put a black highlighter over that one. The pastor can't even make a mistake and read that. You understand? Not in these churches today. All right, so guess what? You blessed because you read that. That's why you know that. All right, Vina, have you ever seen that before? That a woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. You ever read that in the Bible before? But you've been on the earth for 33 years. You telling me that? Have you been to church before? When I was a little girl. When you was a little girl, okay. You telling me, as a little girl, no one ever told you how to how to dress yourself, how to come, how to how to uh, adorn yourself in righteous apparel, right? These are things that the churches should be teaching a whole community, but they're not doing. They're failing in this effort. All right. That's why we've come out here, all right, to, to, to wake up our people and to teach them all the things that our fathers and our pastors and our teachers and all the apostles and the prophets and the ministers and all these people with these fancy titles and the reverends, right? Why they didn't teach us these simple commandments? These are things you got to ask yourself, all right? So we've come here to teach you these simple commandments. Bruce, where you going? I want to talk to you. Come back around. I want to talk to you, Bruce. Come back around. I want to talk to you, Bruce. All right? Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, back in the day, Bruce, right? We used to call pants, what's another word for them? Pull up your what? Pants. Your pants or your what? Trousers. Trousers. What your grandma used to say? Bridges. Pull your britches up, right? <laughs> right? So we read about these pants in the Bible. Did you know that? Right. And guess who they were from? Guess who the pants was for you read about the Bible? It's for, it's for the men. Can you get that for me? Come on. Exodus chapter 28 verse 1. Yeah. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother. Thy who? Thy brother. Tell the sisters. Thy brother. Tell the woman. Thy brother. You ever read the scripture before? I've read it. All right, read it. Re re keep reading. And his sons. And his daughters. And his sons. And his aunts. And his son. And the grandmama. And his son. That's the men, right? That's the men, right? Come on. With him. With who? With him. No, with her. With him. With she. With him. Come on. And shall anoint them. And consecrate them. Come on. And sanctify them. Come on. That they may minister unto me in the priest's office. So who was to wear the pants? Aaron and his sons. You see that? Right. right? The men. It was customary for them to wear pants. Now, what this is talking about is some shorts like that. Because britches, right? Shorts, pants, it's all the same thing. Shorts is just a, a pants is a longer version of the britches, right? They don't preach that. They don't preach that. But we're reading 
the Bible. Right. They were reading the Bible. They pick and choose what they want. Right. They pick and choose whatever they want. Right. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. Because the book of Deuteronomy was written to who? Who was it written to, Bruce? It was written to the men, the women, and the children, the whole nation of Israel. That's who the book of Deuteronomy was written to. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. All right, listen good. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1. You know what we're doing right now? We're showing you all the things that the church ain't teaching. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So he spoke it to all nations on the earth. All Israel. So the book of Deuteronomy, Bruce, who is it written to? All of them. The, the, all of who? All of, them. all of us, right? But the us is who today? Is that the white man? Is it the Chinese man? All be all. It all mean who? All. All right, read what you got again. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all, all Israel. Was it to all nations? Israel. It was to all who? Israel. Israel. All right, so was it to the white man? No. Was it to the Chinese man? No. It was not to the white man. It was not to the Chinese man. You understand? Right, right. You understand? You know who the nation of Israel is today, Bruce? Us. Yes, it is. Look at this sign right here. Look at this sign right here. Jeez. All right? This is the nation of Israel today. You know what we call them today, Bruce? We're tribe. That's not what we call them today, though. You walk over, you go into the barber shop, and, 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 and you tell the brothers, Hey, uh, y'all seen the brother? He had a, 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 a black hat on and some blue pants and he had a, a green shirt and he was from the 12 tribes. They gonna know what to look for? No. No, they're not gonna, they're gonna be confused. They gonna, be like, hey, <laughs> they gonna be like, who was he? Black was he? What, what was he? You understand? Like, give me some more. All right, so these are things that's been hidden from the earth. It's been hidden. It's not, they're not being taught in the churches. If the church was teaching them, then you would know what I'm talking about, right? All right, you better go, go in the barber shop and say, nah, he had a silver hat on. He had a green shirt, all right? He had the blue pants on, and he was from the tribe of Judah, all right? Then they would know what? They would know that, oh, that, that was a black man. He was probably dark-skinned, just like Christ. They would know that, because the tribe of Judah, who, what do we call them today? What do we call the tribe of Judah today? Black. We call them black. So when you went to the barber shop, hey, it was a black man. He had a gray, a, 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 a green shirt on with a silver uh, a helmet and some blue pants. Did, would they know who he talking about then? Would they, would they know to look for a black man? Right? But if you said he was a, a, a brother from the tribe of Judah, would they know who to look for? No. No, they wouldn't. Why? Because these things have been hidden from us today. Right. All right? So we come out here to wake our people up. We got to teach our people all over again who we are because we have discontinued from the heritage that the Lord gave us. Right. Right? Just like we read in what verse? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Read it again. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28. You want 28 and 1, sir? 28 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass. Oh, I'm sorry. 1 and 1. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy. Hold on. Hold on, uh, Vina. Come back. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So, Bruce, Vina, the book of Deuteronomy was written to who? Who was it written to? Oh, Israel. And Israel today is who? The blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans, Latinos. That's who the Israelites are. No Caucasians. No Caucasians. Watch this. Psalms chapter 49. You know what I want? 48, 47, 19. He gave his word. Yeah, I got you. The whole Bible, Bruce, believe it or not, was written to the same people. The same people. The same people. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's who the Bible was written to. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Bruce, I want you to tell me. Vina, listen good. I want you to tell me if you've ever heard the scripture before. Read what you got. He sold his word unto Jacob. The, the, the word is the Bible, right? Come on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So to all nations. Unto Israel. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Read on. He have not. He have what? He have not. No, he did. He have not. Not what? Dealt so with any nation. With any nation? With any nation. Have you ever read that in the Bible before? Have you ever read that before? You never read that in the Bible before? Watch this. 
Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 4. They don't preach this in, why? It's, it's in the Bible though. Vina, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible just, the Bible tells you who it's for. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.